radiographic and anatomic landmarks to approach the anterior capsule in hip arthroscopy. We perform hip arthroscopy in the modified supine position, taking into account radiographic and anatomic landmarks. The radiographic landmarks are the greater trochanter, the innominate tuberosity, the anterior superior iliac spine, the mid vertebrae or umbilical line, and the fifth line that is called the capsulotomy line. This line will intersect lines 3 and 4. Here, here we demonstrate how these radiographic lines are reproduced in the patient's operative left hip. We mark always the femur, we mark the a umbilical scar, we trace the anterior superior iliac spine line, the mid vertebrae line that goes from the umbilical scar to the pubic symphysis, the greater trochanter line at the tip of the greater trochanter, the innominate tuberosity, and the fifth line or capsulotomy line that it will intersect line three and four. Here you can observe the summarized preoperative steps. We use a anterolateral portal revision, a peritrochanteric space or working portal, and sometimes a mid-anterior portal. We start working on the peripheral compartment to perform a inverted T or H capsulotomy, where we will observe the head neck junction and the femoral head. Femoral osteochondroplasty is performed in a standard fashion. An arthroscopic dynamic impingement test is performed post cam decompression. Thank you so much for your attention. Gracias.